hi in this video we are going to learn how to update a data into mysql database all right so in previous sessions i have shown you how to create and how to insert a data in a mysql database using java jdbc all right so before we get started let's have a look into the installation and database setup so you need to make sure that you have installed mysql database in your machine if not you can just download it from our official website so i'll provide a link in the description so you, you also make sure that you need to you know download and configure mysql jdbc driver <coughs> so before we get started we need to set up the database all right so let's open the mysql workbench and just create a uh, database so either you can use a mysql workbench or command prompt in order to create a database in a mysql server so let me show you how to create a database so i have already created a database in my previous sessions so in order to create a database just you need to you know uh, write the statement like create database sql uh, create database i database name and this is the update sql statement that we are going to use in our java program notice here this is the record and the first uh, record with id1 that we are going to update here so we'll use it in a java program so let's have a look into the development steps so first we need to create a java project in eclipse id and then next we add a jdbc driver to the class path next we establish a connection to the mysql database next we create a statement next we execute the sql, SQL query and we process the result all right so these are the simple development steps that you need to you know, remember or you need to follow in order to successfully create this uh, you know program all right so this is i have also also created an article and published on my website so i will i will you know show you that uh, end of this video let's switch to the java development environment and let's have a look into the code here so notice here this is the main method and this is the entry point and uh, we have created an object of this class itself and we are calling insert record method and here you can see we have established a connection to the mysql database using a jdbc url username and password and this get connection method it basically returns a connection object and this get connection method is a static method which we can call using class name all right and a driver manager it attempts to register a specific driver uh, which we which it can find from the class path so we no need to manually register a driver all right so once we got a connection object then we can create a, a statement so notice here we are using try with resource statement in order to close the resources automatically so we are not using you know finally block in order to close the resources so once we got a statement object we can you know call execute update method and we pass a you know sql update sql statement to this method and we can execute this method and this method will return an integer value uh, which means that uh, whether the record is successfully updated or not that we will see once we run the program and if we encounter any issues in a try block then that will be caught in a catch block and that exception will be printed uh, through this method all right so this print exception is a standard method which will log all the exception detail to the console for example sql state and error error code etc all right so so be pretty simple just run this java program and let's see the output yeah here we go notice here this is the debug statement that we have provided in the program this is a sysout which will print the sql statement and this is the sysout which will which will print the result all right let's head over to the mysql console and let us see if the record is updated or not so let me execute this yeah here we go initially the name was promote and now it was it was updated with ram all right so this is how we basically uh, you know write a java program to execute uh, the update update sql statements 
uh, as I mentioned, I already you know created and published a blog post on my website, and you can get a source code from uh, uh, this article. So let me show you the article in a browser. So here, notice here, this is uh, you know this is the article I have written, and you can get a source code from here. You can just clone the source code from here and you can just use it i, I will provide a link of this article in a video descriptions all right thanks for watching i'll see you in next session